today we're going to unbox this deck i will give you my thoughts on this deck as a creator of the deck and also just walk you through some of the artworks and some of the interesting stories and we're gonna do this together first let's see i don't want to ruin this card Ooh. this is a leftover from the kickstarter campaign when you order a deck you have to kind of order an even number but you never really get an even number back there so this is actually the kickstarter limited edition look at this gold oh my god i'm obsessed all the gold text here and let's see so this is the drawer box oh also the nails is even golden by the way and this is my favorite part inside of the mummy I had this idea right before I submit my file because initially it was not this cover. Uh, I was thinking about something else, maybe a pattern. Since this whole design is inspired by the ancient Egyptian sarcophagus, why not? I just drew a mummy inside. <laughs> so far it looks great. And here is the guidebook. So I wrote about each of the cards, their meanings, and also the god that actually I drew on the card. So these are the stories of the god. Let's say the Hierophant. Well, actually, that's, that's the only human that I drew here as a historical person. And also on the back, you will see the zodiac and the keywords and the meaning of the cards. So this whole deck is actually followed Thal's deck's structure. So here is a content table that you can actually match the card in this deck and the card with Thos. Just for some of you who really are curious or already own the Thos deck, this is something that you might find helpful. And let's see, the, oh wait, okay, okay. This is something I'm so proud of. This is Goddess Snewit, the goddess of sky. When I drew this, I, I wanted her to come and bless this card. And uh, there you go, there she is. She's also in one of the cards. And on the side, you'll see the Copic jars. If you watch the mummy movie, you will know like those are the jars to preserve the organs of the mummy. Um, yeah, just try to tie to the topic. And here we go. The initiation. Whoa, look at the gold. This is those. So when I was channeling this deck, I was channeling those and Goddess Ma'at. Very interestingly, they told me like if you want to do this work, you have to be a vegetarian. And um, that's what I did. It, actually, at the beginning, I had a hard time when I was eating meat. But when I stop, it almost feel like the block is just gone and I can channel them. So a lot of the artwork just came to my mind and I had no idea why I had them. And I just drew them out. I experienced a lot of blockages at the beginning, but in the end, everything just flows so smoothly because I changed my diet and also I was listening to all the ancient teaching. Oh my god, look at the mommy. I love this one, I love this one. And rebirth, this is coordinate with the death card. Yeah, let's come back to the story. So everything just flows smoothly. I did rename some of the cards as you can tell. This is the death card, but I rename it to Rebirth, just trying to kind of focus on the other aspect of the transformation. Because death is cool, but I think what it means is like you go down to the, just come from the darkness and with this scorpion energy, but you come out feeling reborn. And also in this Thos deck, this is uh, art. I rename it to Flow. Just add a little bit my tarot reading experience here. And also this is the Nile god Hapi. <laughs> He's a twin god, so you see two heads over here. And the devil tower. So we have two towers in this limited edition. If you back the Kickstarter, you are actually will get these. And also if you support this uh, pre-sale, which I'm gonna put the link down below and you will still get it. So 
This actually currently I only have few left and this is just left over. I will reproduce it and have a second edition but this version of tower will no longer be included. This is the very first tower card that came to me and later on as I was channeling I feel like the goddess Sekhmet also represents this energy and she's this powerful lioness. I do want to include her here and also it ties up the whole theme. So at the same time, I don't want to let this idea to waste. So I decided to keep it, but this won't be included in the future deck anymore. So if you like that card, you will probably uh, want to check out the pre-sale for the Kickstarter after over. So you will get that and this is the star i love it and the moon and for the sun card as you can tell there's no white it's all gold because it just really tied into this theme of the sun and the golden energy of the baby version of horus Oh, some of you might be curious why I include white counter space in every card. It's actually because they actually obsess with white. A lot of in their artworks, they use white and also they wear white. So I really want to kind of reflect on that. That's why you see all of the white counter uh, shape in the card to kind of support the storytelling and the energy. So here we got the awakening that those grant knowledge to human. Here is the universe. My gosh, I love this gold foil. It's kind of tricky because now I have two lights on the side and it looks very dark, but I promise when you see it in person, it's quite shiny. So here we get the ace of wands, two of wands, three of wands. Wow, this is the five of wands, six of wands, and the seven of wands, the ace. Oh my god, I love this. It's like eight wands. Wow. A lot of the cards are actually trying to... Oh my god, did I just really leave it here like last time? I'm so not a professional YouTuber. <laughs> Anyways, where was I? Oh yeah, like a lot of the meanings actually follow the Thos system. So if you're actually already familiar with Thos deck, is follow the structure of that deck. If you are familiar with Thos, then you actually will find not so hard to understand this one. And the warrior, the fire, and apprentice of fire. The system for the court cards are slightly changed. I use god, goddesses, warrior, and apprentices. So, um, and also, here's one thing. I, I know Egyptians like symmetry. So if you see a god and the goddesses, they're always facing each other. You will find like in the other suits too. And also the warrior and the apprentice, they were all facing, either facing front together or facing each other. So you'll find that. Okay, let's see. The Ace of Cups. Oh my gosh, I love this one. Two of Cups, three of Cups. And you'll also find the star constellation that match the energy of the card and the glyphs of the combination. Five of Cups and six of Cups. Seven, eight, also, one thing I just recently realized as I was chatting with my friend, these cards, because I was channeling them, I don't know why they have some kind of energy like a sigil or like a charm. So if you want to put them in, in the altar, make sure you put out the card that actually has the energy that, that you want. because. The other day, I was just, just admiring my card. I was like, oh, whoa, I love the emperor. I just put it out. And uh, I just found those days I feel very easily irritated and get mad. A lot of actions, for sure. I feel bolder and brave to talk about things. But also at the same time, I was so easily get irritated. And then I was like, wait a second, is it because of that? So I changed it to the god of earth. Just want to feel more connected to this planet and not really like feel mad. It's so weird that my temperament changed. If you got this deck, you let me know. And also this ace is my favorite ace. I put the flower of life pattern here, just showing the 
2D representations of like this energy that expand and create reality. And this is the two of pentacles, three of pentacles. Since this suit is so earthy, I put a lot of uh, flower of life in here just to add an extra layer of meanings to these cards. Oh yeah, look at the God of Water and Queen of Water, they're facing each other. Oh, actually the sequence is not the sequence that is supposed to be, but it's okay. Sorry, I'm a little bit OCD when it comes to this. This is the Apprentice and the Warrior. As they're all facing to the front and the God and Goddesses of Air. You'll find the explanations about these gods and my reasons why I chose them. See, these two are facing each other. And now comes to my favorite pair, the god and goddesses of Earth. I really love them because I've been trying to grant myself as a psychic and a healer. If you journey a lot, you know, uh, you do need a lot of Earth energy to ground your 3D body here. Otherwise, my mind can just fly out to the ether and just be gone. This is the unboxing. Actually, oh, I forgot to show you the bag, which I love. The textures is really trying to reference to papyrus paper. And also, I, I just personally think, you know, a lot of people, since they like to do some kind of uh, really fancy shuffle tricks, so this is actually so much easier. I did put that into consideration just so you know. And this is the bag. I love it. Let's do a collective card. Oh, I was just trying to say. The hand mommy. That's good. I guess it's a holiday season, huh? Everybody wants to rest and reflect on 2023. And really looking forward to 2024. Actually, I'm going to do... Oh, the bottom of the deck is the God of Fire. So... That is very interesting, and the rebirth wanted to come out. Okay, I actually can feel that collectively we are going through a period of time that we realize that the old way of doing things is no longer working. The God of Fire come out and saying actually there are going to be a lot of momentums and movement coming in the early 2024 because it's the God of the Sun and we can see he's actually holding this sun symbol. In the Aries season, which is the exaltation of the sun, there is going to be a lot of creative energies and a lot of momentum happening. People feel more energized, but at least for now, we're still in this uh, the hand mummy reflection phase, which is fine. This is what holiday is supposed to do, you know, slowing down and reflect and rebirth is happening. A lot of things are going to be so different. I think on a personal level, you'll feel like a different person. You even, because recently there's a lot of energetic shift in the cosmos and on the 3D plane, there's going to be a real moment of shift that everybody actually will be very happy about. It is going to be a transformation, a change of status that is happening that's going to be very exciting. Let's see if there's anything else before we closed up this book. Oh. Emotional healing is needed for a lot of us. I think the initiation is at the bottom of the deck. For some of us, I think you feel overwhelmed by emotion, especially a lot of things and past experience. It's just really kind of surround you and making you feel like there is no room for you to take a break. When you go through that, you're actually going through this intense transformational process. Try to face all those emotions that actually been stalking in your system, if that makes sense. like. Because when I do quantum healing for people, a lot of emotions and energies are just, they just stuck there and makes people feel overwhelmed. When things arise, emotions come up and it doesn't matter how, how much you understand 
the theory or the logic. It's just you feel overwhelmed and you will react. But once you can take control of all those overwhelming emotions and take time, take time to face each of those fears and emotions that have been controlling your life for a long time. You'll be able to be reborn to initiate in, into this new reality, which has great potential. There's a lot of things that you can look for, and also I feel like Aries energy is going to be a, a really big this time. I, I'm kind of looking forward to like late March and April. So the initiation will happen. I think everyone will be born into this new reality. Before that is going to be some kind of dark tunnel because you do need to face your baggage. I can also feel that some people might feel very very triggered lately. Just trying to understand the whole world is your mirror. I do. I fall into this trap too. You know, like every time people piss me off, it was like, oh, I really hate that person. But I always. Remember that it, no, no, it's a reflection. It's trying to show me something. So I will go sit in a meditative state and talk to my subconscious and try to understand why I feel the way I feel and how to he how I can heal from it instead of kind of assign blame to whatever is going on outside. Just uh, you know, because that's the that's the way of moving forward instead of like trapping yourself into this three D storyline and constantly contemplating why things happen to you. Just a thought <laughs> I want to share. Thank you so much for attending this unboxing, and I'm actually offering pre-sale right now on my website. I wanted to do Etsy, but they don't allow seller to sell anything that's actually not ready yet. So I'm going to sell on my website, and you can check the link down below. For United States buyers, you can enjoy a free shipping. And for the internationals, I'm sorry, <laughs> it's just really expensive right now to cover your shipment fees. But I found a couple cheap options online, so uh, I have them offered on my website. Yeah, if you like what you see, make sure to check it out. And thank you so much for spending time with me. I will see you in the next reading. Bye bye.